Hey guys, I thought that I was not live because Facebook is saying that I'm banned from my own group, so I apologize for um, ignoring you, but I see Linda, I see Shalana, I see Debbie Jenkins and Becky. So I hinted uh, earlier this week that we were going to launch a 30-day, 5-minute coloring challenge starting June 1st, which happens to be tomorrow. And what that means is that I will be live. I will be on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm saying that. And, um, or you'll see post or reel something that's going to be a quick coloring. And then I kind of got this idea that maybe somebody would say, well, we don't have anything to color. So we developed a, a free coloring book that you can download on our website that's linked in the description box of the video. Hey Lisa Albert, how are you? Um, and Lisa helped me with a lot of this today and she's been amazing. Um, so you can go to the website and just look up for, um, what is it? Digital 30 day coloring challenge book and you can download it and you'll get 31 days of, I'm sorry, 30 days of, um, of coloring and each sheet has four, um, images on it that you can color. And the reason I chose four was one, you can make card panels out of it, but what I have learned is if I color one image and maybe come back a month later or even six months or a year, I can really see how much my coloring has improved. But let's really talk about why we're doing this. We get so busy in our lives. We, we have husbands, we have kids, we have jobs, we have all the things. And five minutes a day taken just for you to do what you love to do, whether it's your Copics, your watercolors, whatever it is. Um, just take it for you. Have a mindful moment just to de-stress, relax, and just gather things and do what you love. And that's why we're doing this so that we can all get creative together. Um, so let's talk about this for one minute. All right. So you're going to see that I have this book here. And this is a book that you can actually order. It's, um, I love it. Lisa's bowing. Um, this is a book that you can actually buy. So I will print it on our marshmallow uh, alcohol coloring paper. So it's at least, it's an 80 pound paper. Um, so it's really good for coloring and it's okay for a card front as long as you um, layer. And this is gonna be $49.99, but this is what's in the bundle. And I am so excited about this, you guys. So you get the 30-day coloring challenge book, and it's printed on Copic-friendly paper. You're going to get this watch book, and we're going to go through what all those things are. You're going to get 10 side-folding card bases with envelopes, and they are buttery smooth. They are phenomenal. You're also going to get 10 sheets of our coloring paper. So that's 8.5 by 11. You're going to get 10 4 to quarter by 5.5 uh coal cardstock panel so that you can either use it for layering or for a card front, whatever you want to do. And this is really special. You're going to get a uh, light source guide. So it's going to be something printed on acetate. So you can lay it over your pictures and you can kind of see which way the light is going. So let me stop gabbing and just showing you this one piece of paper. Um, so in the coloring bundle, I wrote up a book. It's all about Copics. This would apply to any alcohol marker, whether it's Olo's, a hoo hoo, or whatever you have. I'm a Copic girl. That's no secret, and it's what I love to do. But what I have found about coloring is, even if you're a watercolorist, the theory is still the same. You still have to put the scary dark in the smaller places or where things overlap, so that you get a really nice shadow and then you extend your colors out so so say if you don't want to use markers or you want to use watercolor markers or pencils you can still apply that now if you want to watercolor i will tell you that you would probably be better off um downloading the free book and um printing it on your watercolor paper or your bristol smooth so we're going to talk all about the copics if you buy the book and in that, and of course, my dogs are coming alive because I'm talking. We talk about light source. And then um, if you participate in any of the days, we would love it if you would tag us with pound or hashtag pajama crafter stamps, hashtag PCS coloring challenge, and hashtag 30 day color challenge. And that I'll post that. 
Now, um, you will also, in this book, get my favorite Copic combo. So I put some of my favorites in here. I left a few blank, so as we go along, I could add some more. You've got a nice color wheel here printed, and all of my favorite colors kind of um, are depicted there. And then you've got all of these blocks, so you've got um, eight boxes. So what the intention of that is, is that you'll come up with your with your blends or my blends and you'll start to color those down and you'll see the gradient of color all right and you're going to get two sheets of that which is amazing and then we all know that we like to color our fur babies i mean mine are making noise as we speak so we've got some where you can try different colors of fur and you could write down all of your favorites here um Let's see, and we did it for, we have cat lovers and dog lovers, so we've got the cats and the dogs, and um, this is just a really fun resource, and then, of course, everybody struggles with hair. Who doesn't? So you're going to get two pages, so you're going to get 16 different swatches that you can practice your coloring, and you can come up with your color combos, and I will help you throughout the uh, month with some of those hair colors. Then, of course, we all struggle with different uh, textures and metals. So we've got our jugs here that we can color. So you can do glass, you can do metal, anything that's, uh, you know, shiny. So we've got two of those. Just see, I think it is amazing, too. I think this is going to be such a fun month. It's going to get my creative juices flowing. I hope it gets somebody else's. But, you guys, all I want is a sense of community. And even if you can't participate for all 30 days just jump in wherever you can and do it you know just take five minutes for yourself because oh my gosh mental health mindfulness you know de-stressing is key you know coloring was my therapy or is my therapy especially before it was my job and so for me i am trying to get back to what i love so for those of you who are going to do the free coloring book this is what the uh what it's going to look like Obviously, you're going to print it out on your paper of choice because it is not a physical product. But look here. We have four card fronts, and it's a couple watching a sunset. My favorite color is sunset. And we've got mermaids, so we can practice hair, we can practice skin tones, and we can practice uh, scales. So this, you know, you can just do different parts every day. And it says, always be a mermaid. Now, this one is my favorite, I think. This is our goldfish, and again, you've got scales, you can, you can do all different colors, and it would just make for a fun summer card. Again, if you don't want to make these into cards and you want to keep it in a book like I am, for your reference, I would go ahead and do that. Then, because I love frogs, um, oh my gosh, hi Jen Palmer, um, we've got this frog, and I love the little like mushroom hat he's going on, and then you can just color him, you can practice eyes, because you can make some really wild eyes with this and we can talk about that and this is the magic is in you and then we've got this again it's still four card panels and it's um dragonfly so you're going to learn how to do like translucent colors for wings um you can stencil on those and it's every day is a miracle so very pretty very simple here um with just a beach so you could you know do the sand you can put some water in there and do a gradient up to the sky i mean it, the sky is the limit no pun intended and we've got some and it says summer memories then you've got the happy camper so you can practice this you can do night skies um and if you want to get creative you can figure out how to make that um into a sun if you want to make it daytime i think it very much lends itself to a night sky but it's just going to give you a lot of practice with landscapes with lighting with backlighting and all the things so it's just a really fun panel to practice on and then all right i was in a little bit of a snarky mood and um so we did the the beach and the waves because that's my favorite place to be but no shady beaches allowed and y'all know we got some shady beaches and we need lots and lots of sunshine in our life um so yes thank you lisa the pages will arrive without holes in them that way you have the uh, option to either put them in the book or to use them as card fronts or you could just cut right down the middle 
and you could use these two for um, card fronts and you could keep this for a reference. So this book is pretty um, versatile. And then we've got the mountains. So this time you could do day or night because, you know, that's, you know, that could be a full moon or it could be the sun, but you could practice landscapes, hills, mountains. Um, I really encourage you to take a look at mountains because when we color things, a lot of times when we look at mountains, we think that the lightest one is going to be um, in the front and the darkest is going to be in the back, but it's actually the opposite because there's a lot of um, uh, fog and that kind of thing. So really take a look at some pictures before you color that and you'll be really surprised at really how to color mountains. And some, and one side of the mountain is darker than the other. So there are so many things you can practice rock techniques. I mean, this guy is the limit, you guys. I chose these images so that you could get the biggest bang out of, um, out of it. So Sandy, no, this is not digital. Um, we are offering this as a book. If you want to purchase it as a bundle, you will get the binder with five tabs. You'll get the write-up on the Copics. You'll get the 30-day coloring challenge resource book, which is um, what I'm talking about now. You'll get a swatch book, A2 card bases and envelopes, 10 sheets of coloring paper, uh, 10 100-pound panels of coal uh, cardstock that's going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. And you're going to get a light source guide, which will be printed on acetate, so it's pretty stellar. And that's $49.99. All right, and then, we're, then we've got seashells. So again, you can practice whatever you want. There are so many textures, so many colors. You go flipping wild, you guys. But it says sandy toes and seashell sea dreams. And then look at this sweet guy. He's so darn cute. So swimming by to say hi. So you can, again, practice different textures on the skin. You can make it look like the turtle is 3D by just the coloring. You can put it in an ocean. You can put a beach in front. You can put the sky. I mean, I really chose these, every one of these images so you could get the most practice out of it. And then I'll check him out. Is he not like the craziest, craziest looking pirate? He is adorable and shiver me timber. So again, if it were me, I would cut this down the middle. I would put holes, you know, punch the holes in it. I would keep this side as reference and I would use these for cards. But the sky is the limit. It's phenomenal. Then we've got the mason jar. Um, I didn't get my page all the way in there. Um, and you can practice reflective skills. You can practice the flicking of flowers to get those blended. You can um, you can even watercolor with with Copics or alcohol markers. And I talk about that in my resource guide. So you guys. Lots and lots of techniques here. And then, of course, I had to put some birds in here because I've got birds. And it says, I may look calm, but in my head, I've bitten you three times. And that is the truth. I think BB wants to eat me like 12 times a day. And then we had to do a little monkey so you could, you know, practice greenery. You can practice um, fur, you know, all those things. And these are positions so that when you cut it down, that these will be right on the edge of the paper. And again, you do whatever makes you happy. And then the, look at this sweet guy. This is a koala bear taking a nap, and it says, I'd rather be napping, and that is so me. Sometimes I would just rather be napping than anything else. So lots of techniques in here. Hair, long flicks. You could do broad stroke uh, blending. You've got wood grain to practice. You've got the leaves. So, And then you could do work on skies, clouds, all that stuff. So again, lots to do here. And then... I did not put a sentiment on these flowers, um, and that's because I figured somebody would probably die cut one and put it like across it. So it, this is just a corner to corner card. Again, lots of techniques that you can do with this. And then who doesn't love a cold drink on a hot summer night? And we can practice reflection, we can practice water, we can practice the ice cubes and how they reflect color. We've got the greenery, we've got, you know, the orange, or the lemon, the lime, whatever you want it to be. So there's lots here that you can work on. And then for those days where you just don't want to, you know, do a whole lot, you could just chill with this easy little uh, popsicle and you could go wild with it. You could put textures in it. You could make it shiny. You could make it close in. You could do whatever you wanted. But 
I wanted to add, you know, a few easy images, and then you know I had to have ice cream, ice cream for ice cream. And again, you can practice your 3D coloring to make this waffle cone look like it's coming alive. And then you can practice your highlights and the swirls. Tons and tons of techniques with this, okay? Then, of course, you know, I had to put my little yoga girl in there. Um, and you can practice hair. You can practice clothing, textures on the clothing, and skin tones. A drinking coloring night. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We should definitely have a drinking coloring night. We should all do a Zoom. I liked our Zoom on Scrapbook Day, National Scrapbook Day. We hung out for 10 hours, and we had people popping in and out. It was a lot of fun. We should maybe do that. And then we've got pontoon hair. Don't care, because I think my my love of everything water and sunshine is coming out a little bit in this book. But you can practice your metallics and your shines and... Um, you know, I don't think it's a very hard one to color. You'll have to tell me what your opinion is. Then let that shiitake go. And let me tell you, we're in an industry full of women. And there's a lot of stuff that goes on every day. There's a lot of stuff that goes on in the world every day. And sometimes you just have to let that shiitake go. So we've got mushrooms that you can make gnarly or you can make them nice and smooth. Again, and then you can do the wings. All kinds of things. I think it'd be fun to do these rainbow. <laughs> Justine's laughing. I'd love to see what this, uh, what the coloring end result is after we enjoy cocktails. Um, Sandy Ledoux, I think we need to get together and we need to have cocktails and who knows what the coloring is going to look like, but we would still have a blast. And then, you know, I had to have a rose. Um, lots of techniques in there where you can practice the shading where you've got the really dark folds of the flower and then you've got the light area where it kind of like pops over. So it just really gives you an exercise of dimension and depth of color. And honestly, aren't these just beautiful? I mean, I, I wanna color it. I might color it as soon as I get done here. And then, you know, my love of military because we are a veteran-owned company. So I put the uh, boots with poppies in there and just say, never forget. Um, and I can't wait to color these. I don't know if I'm going to do them as grungy boots or if I'm going to do them as shiny boots. I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably one classic shiny one, like the black, you know, I think Doc Martens. But who knows what I'm going to do after that. Um, and we have a compass, and I think we all need a compass sometimes so that we, you know, we all lose our way or maybe we forget where we came from. So before you ask which way to go, always remember where you have been and what a life lesson. So with this, you could do reflective light. You could do the metal. You could do even like a gun metal where it's, um, it's kind of a flat metal. So... You really have a lot of options with this. Even though this looks like a very simple image, you can do a lot as far as techniques. And then you can take it to, you know, to all different levels. And then you've got, you know, I had to put baseball in because it's summer. Run like you stole it. Run like you stole it. That's all I got to say. You can do um, wood grain. You can do the textures on the glove. And we'll talk about that, you know, using like blending solution and different fabrics. You can do all kinds of cool um, textures. And then we're, we've got Catch It On The Fly. Kind of this repeat of the first one, but you can do skin tones. And then you can practice your eyes. He's got some scary looking eyes. I don't, I don't know. But I think it would be fun. You have to let me know. Um, this is making me want to color. Yep, yep, yep. And Justine and Sandy, I think we all need to have a um, coloring date. Actually, everybody that's on here, we should have a coloring date. And then, you know, pickleball is the craze. I personally have never done it, but I know it's very popular. It's like the fastest growing sport in the U.S., I believe, right now. So pickleball is life. Deal with it. So super cute. And again, you can practice the reflection on the glasses you could do all the gnarly bumps and lumps of a pickle you can try to do I don't know if that's a wiffle ball I don't know what a pickle ball is whatever y'all I'm, I'm not educated in this area I could talk Copics I can't I can't talk a pickleball so that is all 30 of the colors now 
this is all six. So you, I got more tabs in here than I wanted. And the reason we are giving you extra tabs if you buy the coloring bundle is because we plan on adding classes throughout the year. So as you color along with us or we do any type of resources, because we are not a company or a channel that says you have to color with one medium. We want to embrace the watercolors. We want to embrace the ink swishers, the mixed media people, the fun full of people. We, like, so this, this book is just the beginning and it's just a way to keep it all together so you can kind of like map out your journey and see where you've gone. All right, on our website, and this is under the digital portion, um, this is a free resource and I know that this looks so elementary. These are very large images and it was meant for light source. So I did a live, I don't know, it's probably been four or five months where we talked about light source. So like it would be lighter here, darker here, or where the folds are. And the reason we gave you such big images is because if you're a beginning colorist, it is really, really hard to get three to five color blends into your images. I struggled with that. In fact, I took a class um, five years ago that had the cutest little Yorkie in it. And I was so excited because, you know, I've got my two Yorkies and the Yorkie was so small and I was brand new to markers. And let me tell you, I couldn't color it and I never picked that class up again so that is why it was important to me to give you really big images in this free download so this is a second free download and again it would be on your paper at your house not a physical product so we've got another set of leaves and that way you could do multiple tones I mean there are again we could talk we could practice like water droplets we could talk about how to do veining or we could just do really simple color blends. I, this is just about the light source and getting it there, but you can always incorporate all the things. Uh, Justine, your Yorkie is amazingly cute. So yes, thank you, Lisa, for dropping that link in. And of course you've got a heart and um, I think a heart is really fun to do light source in because you can color it like a balloon. So you're you could actually have your darkest part here then on the outside it can be super light and you can even have some super light in the center when you have like like we're pretending we're using our imagination here you can go wild with a balloon and you can so this is just a beginner image and then you've got cylinders all right so i'm thinking like a soup can or an oil can something but getting the reflection down meaning you leave white space so it looks like the sun is shining it's really hard for people at the beginning so we just did these simple shapes so that you can practice that i know this seems very elementary this is not meant to be a card base or even on a card it's just meant for practice it's meant for you to take five minutes and think about light source think about your day de-stress and of course we've got um, triangles. I don't know why. I just chose them. And then we've got circles. So again, you can pretend that they're like the earth, the sun, or even like an eclipse and you can practice your coloring. So that is what I have. I mean, this is a lot. So this bundle right here is free and it's the light source. And there was a live, um, that was done with that. So I'll go through the archives and I will post that in the description of this um, free download um, on the site. Then you've got, you've got 30 days of coloring and you've got four card fronts for each. This is amazing. And this is free as a download for everybody. And you put it on your paper of choice that you use for your, your alcohol markers, your watercolor, whatever it is that with your paper so if you do pencils i would say like bristol smooth this is a little bit too smooth and you won't get a really good result you'll uh, fill the tooth real fast but bristol smooth is good um so this is free all right if you buy the bundle you will get this coloring book you will also get let me find it here you'll get my favorite color blends like i said they're still um, need to be filled out so we can do that together as we progress throughout 
our years together or months together that we do and here's a color wheel so that you could kind of practice and I'm a big stickler about color wheel because you could make your cards or your projects pop so if you pair like an orange and a purple or a yellow and a purple it automatically screams because they're opposite they're complementary on the color wheel where like yellow orange and red they are analogous meaning that they mix well together and they play nice but if you would mix like yellow and purple you are going to get brown and it's ugly so i kind of put this in here as a reference on how to make your stuff pop and how to mix your colors these are your swatches that you could do whatever you want and we'll probably have more of these sheets on sale um, in the shop but you could write down your your um, color blends and then color them. You've got the cats, you've got the dogs, you've got hair, and you've got jugs. All right, and then you have my little write-up. Um, and when I say little, I it's just because I always, I'm not very good at like pumping myself up, but I wrote um, what you need to know about comics, um, uh, how trying to understand the color system, uh, marker maintenance, which uh, Sandy Ledoux, which was on here, if she still is, um, she actually is the one that taught me a marker maintenance, and there's a huge joke behind that, so we'll talk about that sometime. Then we talk about how to blend with Copic markers, like the broad strokes, the fine strokes, how to do the different textures, um, and how to use blending. And then I talk real short about light source, but you are going to get a guide that's going to help you figure out light source. So, and then you're going to get the, all the other stuff with this, the binder, the whole nine yards for $49.99. So you have a free option. You've got, you've got a couple of free options and then you've got, you know, this, if you want all the things like most people do, I know that I want all the things, but our card bases and our envelopes that are going to be included in this, they are buttery smooth and they're 110 pound card stock. As far as the bases go, they're just, they're beautiful. And then you're going to get our coloring paper involved with that. And everything that this is printed on is going to be the coloring paper. So you can go right to town with your Copic markers or Olos or Ohuhu, any of the above, the Stampin' Blends, any of those. So, um, hey Sandy, thank you. I appreciate that. So this was a labor of love. Um, and when I say that, it came together in two days. I'm a procrastinator. I drive Lisa nuts with my procrastination, but so you will get this or get the cover, the whole nine yards. So that is what I have going on. I will see you tomorrow. And I don't want to tell you what time because I don't know what we have planned yet because we have yet to um, talk about our plans for the weekend, but you will see me in one way, shape or form, YouTube, Reels, Instagram, um tick tock and we're just gonna do this and i want to have fun this is about building community this is about releasing stress this is about color therapy and you know i of course would love it if you used our stamps but i understand that not everybody has our stamps or whatever but you do have a free resource guide online that you can download onto your favorite paper so i have taken up 29 minutes and this is supposed to be like 10 minutes so i think we're gonna end this tonight uh let's see does anybody have anything shalana says awesome i need the bundle no time to print yep yep and um okay so lisa's correcting me she goes actually a part of it was done for a while i just didn't know so lisa has been secretly squirreling away like images or swatches and that kind of stuff and she surprised me with the color wheel she like Lisa listens to all of my rambling and all of my uh, my wishes and she makes them happen. Um, I have two very good friends, Lisa's one of them, who I call are the keepers of joy because they're the ones that keep me straight and they help me out with a lot of stuff and being a one woman show, thank God I've got two others that want to help me out. So. Um, yeah, let's do this, okay? I will see you tomorrow. I'm hoping before noon. All right? Bye-bye.